This HAN Network video is brought to you by Carl Chevrolet. Here are the Welcome news. back to Arts and Leisure on the HAN Network. I'm joined with Ellen and Tom Curley of Video Escapes Audio Theater. You guys have a nice... Voice Escapes. Voice Escapes, sorry. Forgive me. Voice Escapes uh, Audio Theater, you have a performance at Jesse Lee Church in Easton yep. this weekend. Saturday night. You've been performing now for four or five years? Four years. Four years? Yeah, four years. And this is natural sound. You're creating natural sound effects, mm -hmm. mini plays, 90 minutes long. Mm -hmm. How many plays are there total? Uh, six or seven usually mm -hmm. in, in a performance, ranging from about eight minutes to 25 minutes. And it bounces around from France to New York. Yes. All over the yes, globe. Yes, comedy, All drama, on the theater stage. Absolutely. It's pretty cool. How did you come up with this idea? It's pretty original. Well, that's interesting. Um, basically, you have to go back a few years. Um, I uh, um, used to direct um, a uh, show for the Midwest Radio Theater, the National Audio Theater Festivals, which is in um, Missouri. And um, I went there first about 30 years ago and then came back in, uh, in the 2000s. And what it used to be was a workshop where um, a couple hundred people would get together and we would teach audio theater, audio drama. We would have seminars and we would put uh, on a show, a live show in their community center. And um, so we made a lot of friends uh, uh, over the years, and we always looked forward to it because every year we would, you know, old friends get together. We all have that same love of, you know, of, of audio right. theater. So on the bus from St. Louis to uh, West Plains, Missouri, we were sitting and talking, and a bunch of us realized, we said, you know, we, we, we do this once a year, and, uh, but we all, you know, really enjoy doing this, and a bunch of us all live in New York and Connecticut. Why do we go all the way to Missouri, <laughs> to West Plains, Missouri, which is about 80 miles beyond the middle of nowhere, to, uh, to do this? And we all went, Great question. <laughs> Great question. So when we got back that year, uh, Sandy Schur, um, one of our, our members, uh, got us all together. And we said, you know, we can, why don't we just do it at home, you know, uh, for fun. Then the question came, well, there's a lot of audio theater groups out there. And what would make us different? And we realized it's the live performances. Mm -hmm. Um, one of the things that we did do in, in, in Missouri was uh, we would have a live performance and uh, we would usually do one or two plays and we would bring in a sound truck and we would uh, air the thing on a local radio station and then we would also put it up on the internet. And um, the audiences really enjoyed watching us do the performance, even though we were all standing in front of microphones and reading from scripts, but you got to see the live sound effects. Uh, we had a live orchestra, we have a live, a live band, and it was, it, was, it was fun, and we realized people liked that. So we started writing stuff, and uh, we didn't really have a show until we realized that if we just put all the little pieces that we had written together, we actually did have a show. <laughs> and, it, and it actually fit together rather well. I mean, we went through some, we went through some, uh, some growing pains. Uh, our first show, we decided that we, we needed to, to have a, a separate actress and do a, a separate piece that would somehow integrate all of our pieces. And, and, and the actress was, was was wonderful but it didn't work it didn't work at all and then we realized that all we basically the reason that the show is called voicecapes audio theater presents is because we start each of our pieces with voicecapes audio theater presents and you hear ding and we introduce the piece. So that's kind of like and your trademark. It's like a trademark and we realized that that's all the show needed mm -hmm. and so it's you know we have you. You introduce a piece. Um, and is that your transition from? That's in and our out transition of these exactly. You know, yeah. And it was like first, uh, and oddly enough, even though the pieces are 
both comedy and, and drama. When I say drama, it's more Twilight Zone, science fiction-y um, fantasy. Uh, the having 10 minutes of comedy and then 20 minutes of serious. Yeah, it's a change another, of pace. A yeah. little change of pace, and people really, it really works. And we were, you know, so now this is our fifth show, and um, uh, we've, it's a solid act. We, you know, in other words, it's, it's, we've, it's been proven. Um, we, we initially performed um, out in Kansas City, and then four years ago, we, we performed at the Paley Center mm -hmm. in, um, in New York City for the AES show. And that went over very, very well. And that's when, we, and, but there we just did one, one piece. And from then we, we, uh, we went on to do um, a show this Halloween at the Dolby Theater in New York City uh, with uh, Simon Jones. Um, I don't know if you're a very fan cool. of the Hitchhiker yeah. Guide, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Yeah, that's yes. awesome. I know, it was awesome. <laughs> I got to play with Arthur Dent. Um, <laughs> And this was and the it, first one that was all of It was our, all us, and it worked. It was 90 it, you know, minutes a, of just yes. us. Okay. And it was very, very well received. And it's all original material. Yeah, yeah you guys wrote the script yourselves, right? We have right? another writer, uh, Butch mm -hmm. D'Ambrosio, in, yes. our, in our group, and right. we do most of the writing. Right, but Butch also. Yes. It was all in-house. Butch, uh, Butch writes uh, one of our funniest pieces. Uh, he also writes for Mad Magazine. Okay. I mean, everybody in the group is yeah, I saw one of your actors went yes, to, uh, on to do Orange is the New Black. Yes, Orange is the New Barbara Black. Rosenblatt. Barbara Rosenblatt, um, she's done theater. She's yeah. done theater. Matter of fact, she's going to be reprising um, a role that she originated, uh, Secret The Garden. Secret Garden, at um, Lincoln Center uh, in, I think, next month or in February. And several of our other actors have gotten Audi Awards for, for um, audio book narration, narration and produ production. Productions and um, and Ellen, you started in Georgetown with theater, right? Yeah, <laughs> I was I was a, a a law student with more interest in the theater than yeah. the law. Um, but uh, I've started writing more with my husband. Uh, I always enjoyed writing, but I I I never had a real platform for it. Now, now you do, right? Now we turned out to be a very good writing team. And we, do you add any scenes to this or is it the same play that you guys have been doing? Same thing you've been doing? It's been pretty much the same. We mm. have a couple of pieces that we can transition in and out. Okay. Um, and we've written a few new ones nice. that yeah, we're yeah, getting we always, yeah. around right. cool. after this production uh, in, on Saturday. We're going to go back and rehearse and record some new material. Very and cool. we have all of our material is online at our at our website, voicecapesaudiotheater.com. Yeah, it's a cool website. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. So but you can actually hear a full performance. One of the one of the um, audio uh, bits is an actual performance with audience reaction, a full the ninety minute piece. The others are each piece individually. If you just want to spend eight minutes and just listen to something, right? Quick yeah, that's and funny, on the website there. We were going to play a video of it, but we didn't. Yeah. We couldn't download it, but it's cool. The website is awesome. I highly recommend it oh, to thank everybody. You. Yeah, it's really well put together. I have a review. <laughs> Our a one review. review. Got a review. And I got to read it because when someone says something nice about you, you do not want to yeah. misquote them. Okay. Um, Cynthia Allen is a theater critic for Outer Critic Circle and Modern Theater Online. And she called our show a night to remember. Excellent writing and performance. A unique type of humor that audiences will carry with them when they leave. And now, so the different stories, they are, you mentioned serious and comedy. They, there's a kidnapping in New York, is that right? Is yes. that funny or is that... Oh, always? that's funny. <laughs> It's very so funny. there's a lot of farce in there, you know. Oh, yes, yes. Yes, one day we were watching a TV show, and there was one of these typical scenes where the kidnapper says, I have your girlfriend. And he was, you know, somewhere on the Upper West Side of Manhattan. And I lived in Manhattan for 40 years, so I know Manhattan. And um, he says, you have to go back to your... Um, but back to your place on the east side, pick something up, and then meet us in the village, and you have two hours to no, save your girlfriend. No, 30 minutes. Oh, okay. I thought it was two hours. Anyway, uh, whatever it was, it, it was, was improbable. Uh, it was beyond improbable. <laughs> it was, and I went on a rant. Why, why, why do they do this? You know, why can't they be more realistic? Everything else is, is sort of, you know, attempting to be in the real world, but, you know, I can suspend disbelief for... Uh, 
aliens and time travel, but I will not New York City traffic. You believe that you can get that. across <laughs> town and downtown in L.A. or New York in two minutes. No, not at all. So, um, so it's basically the kidnappee uh, turning on the kidnapper and grilling him and saying, you are not prepared, and <laughs> there's no way this can get done, and how am I supposed to get <laughs> this kind of money from, from the bank, and how am I supposed to get all the way downtown and across town you know, when it's raining out and I can't get a taxi? It's basically uh, everything you've always thought but never said out loud when, yeah, you're, while watching, watching a when you're watching exactly. a television yeah. show. Yes. No, it's our fun. It's, it's always our end bit because it, it, it is very, very funny. And you had uh, TV history too, right? And yes. CBS News. Yes, I worked. I've worked for CBS for forty years. I started out at CBS FM. Mm -hmm. Actually, I started out at the ABC Radio Network, um, and then I went to CBS FM, and then I transferred over to uh, television. I was an audio guy for. He invented oldies. Yes, really? I invented oldies. Yes, this is a little known fact. Should have led he, with that. He I had, should have led. Yes, well, nobody one. knows it, <laughs> and right. it's it's uh, it's um, it's probably debatable, but um, he had no, a true. he had a radio okay. station at college. I can't. All right, if you really all right, yeah. I don't expect anybody to believe this. You don't have to. However, it just happens to be true, and if you don't believe it, that's perfectly fine. Um, when I was in college in 1970. We you don't had have to a, give our age we away. Had a, yes, well, you know, we had, a, we had a, a, an FM station and a carrier current AM station. And when I was a freshman, I went into a storage room in the back and I found these boxes of 45 RPM records. And I had never heard them. And they were oldies. They were doo-wop. They were who put the bump in the bump, sha bump, sha bump. Who put, they were oldies. Yeah. Now you have to understand, look, in 1970, there was no such thing as an oldie station. All right? Didn't happen. Back then, what we call classic rock was called progressive rock. The last time any radio station played Elvis Presley or uh, the, the Little Richard or the Big Bopper was in the 1950s. Okay? So I took these records and I started listening to them and I thought they were the funniest things I'd ever heard. They were absolutely ridiculous. So I did a radio show called Rock Around the Clock. And I played a, a hyper top 40 radio DJ who was a complete idiot. And he would play these songs. Well, the phone started to ring and I thought people thought I was funny as all get out. No. They go, oh my God, I haven't heard, heard that this song in, years. in 15 years. Oh my years, God, yeah. can you place it? And I'm going like, people like this stuff? <laughs> wow. So I did the show for about two years. It was very popular. I graduate. I go to work for CBS FM. Now, a guy named Gus Gossage is credited with creating CBS FM's oldies format. And he, and he did. He was the program director. And a year before I went to work there, he created Solid Gold, CBS FM, and it became a hit. And I worked there for six years. So fast forward to like 1976, 78, I'm driving home one night and I'm listening to WBAI. And they're interviewing Gus Gossage. And, you know, they're Mr. Gossage, you're you're known for, you know, you're known oh, for... Oh, he took, you, he took you the created, to you fame? Created the, uh, you know, you created the oldies format. He said, well, yes, I did. He said, so, uh, you know, how did you come up with that? And he said, well, oddly enough, in the early 70s, I was driving home on Long Island one Saturday night, and this college station was playing these oldies records. <laughs> and I'm going, wait a minute, that was me! <laughs> <laughs> so... I can't prove it. You're the, I don't brains, expect, you're the brains behind I can't, the operation. I, nobody, I, I will get no money for it ever, and uh, I cannot prove it. But, but we know the truth. But it's, yeah. it's a true story, so now you know the rest of the story. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and thank you very much for sharing that with yeah, us. Is well, there anything else you'd like to talk about with the, the program coming up on Sunday um, night? No, it's at the Jesse Lee Church. Right, 25 yep. Flat Rock 25 Road in East Rock Rock Road. Flat Rock Road, yes. There's going to be a question and answer so, afterwards. Oh, very there's cool. Gonna be, um, it's 90 minutes, too. I don't know it's if I said 90 minutes show. Yeah, and there's going to be refreshments after Afterward. the Q&A.
Because the nice people at the church are providing this. <laughs> yes, you know. they are nice. Isn't they have nice? a very, uh, a very uh, smooth setup there. They do a lot of, um, a lot of shows at the church. Yeah, right. the oddly church enough, there. they do. Yeah. And mm. it's a beautiful church. It is. It yeah, it is a gorgeous church. Wonderful acoustics and um, lovely people. So we're really looking forward to that. Great venue. Great, uh, great performance. For tickets, it's two zero three three seven two eight two five zero. Or you can just come to the door. Or you can come to the door. The door right. Suggested donation is fifteen dollars. Right. And if you can't afford it, come anyway. Come anyway, <laughs> absolutely. I guarantee. Uh, I guarantee you, you will have a good time. Yeah, it sounds it'll, like it'll yes. be a Yes, everyone. Be a lot everyone of fun. comes out of our show saying that they had With an incredibly faces, interesting yeah. evening. Right, right. That it was thought provoking and clever and funny and fun and interesting. So, you know, it's uh, it's a great um, way to spend your Saturday night. Spend your set, yes, yeah. We and it's different. It's a little different. bit different. It's not it's it is a theatrical experience because you are getting the sound effects and the um, the live sound effects, the right. acting, the recorded sound effects, there's music. Um, so it really is very much a, a a full theatrical experience, but it has that wonderful feel that you're sort of watching behind the scenes mm -hmm. you know you're you're watching the actors read and act and it's spontaneous and too it's you're spontaneous. jumping all over the place oh yeah 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 keeps so, you entertained and the so bits are, and some of the bits are yes. universal i mean we, we do a, a bit called misdirections uh, basically of, of a couple driving in france uh, and they brought their gps from home and the what the GPS does to them is yeah. in, in France and yes it's, and the husband uh, also decides to bring Google Maps and, and the yeah. Google Maps lady argues with the GPS yes, lady, lady and, and, ah, that's, and, that's and that's pretty lands funny. us in the middle of a vineyard at midnight yeah. <laughs> in, now the ironic in, thing in is, the middle yeah. of nowhere and they get pretty in, lost in I'm sure yes. yes yes the ironic thing is that um, it, it uh, all the stuff in the piece actually happened uh, to you guys. Yes, to yes. us. Oh, yes. okay. The way we got through it was we kept saying if we personal survive experience. this, personal experience. we're going to have a really good... It always makes for the best material. Skit. It did, yeah. It was odd. Halfway through our, our, our vacation, we said, oh my God, we're, we're stuck in a skit. <laughs> and uh, and it just got funnier. Yeah. And uh, so it's it's a universal thing. And that's some of the material that people can see on Saturday night? Yep. Yeah. That's, that's some yeah. of the, we, that's um, one of the things. We also have our other comedy piece is a husband and wife arguing. Well, it's, um, a, it's, it's an intellectual. Very intellectual, very, very intellectual. sociological analysis of why men think farts are funny and women don't. <laughs> um, yeah. Because farts are funny. <laughs> and... Uh, and women do not. And um, an idea of real sound for that? Or oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We have yeah, internet, I, internet. I mean, that's the best, the best follow-up question effects. I can Absolutely. have for that. Yeah, yeah. And my, it's going to be interesting. Um, so if you're it's, offended by farts, don't <laughs> farts, come. Yeah. Don't show up at the also, church. Also, it's going to be <laughs> interesting. We, we, I te we checked with the church whether it was okay, okay. whether okay. we were, yeah. you know, going to go straight to hell if we played fart sounds in a church. I think this is the first time wind is going to be breaking across hallowed ground. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> there you go. It is. Something to look forward to. Yes, exactly. Saturday. Right. You know, I mean, Ellen and Tom, thank you so much for stopping by. It sounds like it'll be a great time.